After installation is complete, switch on the converter's power supply and start the program. The project wizard opens automatically. The wizard will help you create your first project. First, select the Find Drive Units Online button. Give the project a name and click Next. In the next step, you will set up the PC interface. Check that Device is set as Access Point. Check that S7 USB is set as interface. If not, click PG PC. Now open the drop down menu and select Access Point of the Application and choose the command Device Starter Scout to S7 USB. In the lower section, named Interface Parameter Assigned Used, select S7 USB. Close with OK and click Next. In the next step, Insert Drive Units, the identified converter is displayed. Click Next. A summary concludes the process. Check it and close the wizard with Complete. The converter is now integrated into the project tree and the parameters can be set up using the starter software. The project tree is located on the left hand side. The program menu you can find at the top. Features that are especially important and used frequently are displayed in the toolbar located beneath. There you will also find the yellow icon Connect to Selected Target Devices. Clicking this button establishes an online connection between the PC and the converter. Now select the device you want to go online with. As you will go online via the USB interface, set the access point to Device. A dialog window with an online offline comparison is displayed. Click the Load HW Configuration to PG button to download the data to the PC. If there are no differences between online and offline status, close the window. In the lower part of the screen, a workbench area has opened. It provides additional information like alarms, the target system output, and the diagnostics overview. The starter software and the converter are now connected. In the project tree, select the converter. Now click on Load CPU, Drive Unit to PG and confirm the loading process. The data set is loaded. A double click on Configuration in the project tree opens the configuration window in the work area. Click Wizard and let the wizard guide you step by step through the relevant parameters. Start by setting the control structure. In our example, it is VF with parabolic characteristic. For command and setpoint source, keep the default settings. The same applies to the drive settings. Keep the identified properties. The next step is the motor data. Select Induction Motor for the type. Refer to your motor rating plate to enter the applicable motor data. Under Define Drive Functions, Motor Data Identification can be activated. Select Identify Motor Data at Standstill. Entering important parameters is the next step. Check if Maximum Current, Minimum and Maximum Speed as well as ramp up and ramp down times correspond with your application requirements. The OFF3 ramp down time indicates how much time the motor needs to stop in the case of an emergency shutoff. After clicking Next, you will receive a summary of all parameter values inputted. The summary can be inserted into a text file by pressing the Copy Text to Clipboard button. Finally, select Copy RAM to ROM to store the parameterization in the converter's EEPROM memory 
and close the window by clicking Finish. To activate Emergency Operation, choose Functions in the Project Tree and double-click Emergency Operation. The first step is to activate the parameterization. Click the corresponding button and browse through the list of relevant parameters. Select parameter R722 for Digital Input 5, which corresponds to the wiring example. In the next step, define the setpoint source by opening a drop-down menu. In our example, fixed speed setpoints stored in parameter 1015 applies. Now enter the fixed setpoint speed, measured in revolutions per minute. After emergency operation has been activated, the PID controller must be parameterized. First, access Technology Controller in the project tree and double click Technology PID Controller. Clicking on PID Controller Activation in the work area opens a window with all relevant parameters. Select 1 for activation. After activation, define the setpoint source by clicking in the appropriate field. In our example, choose P2201 for a fixed value. For the actual value source, select Analog Input 1, which is stored in parameter R755 Index 1. Ramp up and ramp down time should also be defined. Enter 30 seconds for both values and close the window. Now enter the smoothing time for the actual value, stored in parameter 2265. In our example, we entered 10 seconds in the marked field. You can also adjust the PID control parameters. If required, click the appropriate button and change the settings in the window. In our example, no changes are necessary. Close the window by clicking Close. The final step is to check the output limits by clicking on Limitation Active and define a ramp up, ramp down time of 30 seconds. If all parameters correspond with your application, close the window. Congratulations! You have successfully configured your pressure regulated ventilation with active ESM operation. A power outage may cause the loss of the parameter settings. As a result, Starter offers various possibilities for protecting your parameter settings. To save all data after setup is complete, double click the Drive Navigator in the project tree and select Commissioning in the work area. A window opens. Now click on Save Data in Drive, RAM to ROM to save the parameter settings in the converter's double EEPROM memory. You should also save the data in your project. Because you have worked in online mode, no data whatsoever have been stored in your project. By clicking Save Data to Project, data will also be saved on your PC. Now you could disconnect the online connection to the converter by clicking the Disconnect from Target System icon. In this case, please continue to remain online. We would like to show you how to restore the converter's factory settings. This might be helpful if you have experienced any problems during parameterization. Resetting the factory settings is also performed with the Drive Navigator under Commissioning. Select Factory Setting. The security query that is now displayed lets you know that all settings you have made will be reset. Using the checkbox query, you will have the opportunity beforehand to save your settings to the converter's ROM memory. Press the OK button to reset the converter. And conclude the process by clicking Close. Before exiting Starter, you should disconnect from Target System. 